Unraveling, Bloodsucker, A Dive into Language. Hello, language explorers. Today, we'll dissect a fascinating term that's often used in English, bloodsucker. It's a word rich in meaning and history. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and how to use it. So, let's embark on this lexical journey together. The term, bloodsucker, originally refers to creatures that literally suck blood, like mosquitoes, leeches, or vampires in folklore. It's a compound word combining blood, the vital red fluid in our bodies, and sucker, someone or something that sucks. In figurative language, a bloodsucker is a person who exploits others, typically for money or resources. They are seen as draining the energy or resources of others, just like a leech drains blood. It's a powerful metaphor for greed and exploitation. You'll often find bloodsucker used in informal settings to express contempt for someone who is deemed exploitative. It's a strong word, so it's important to use it carefully. Here are a few examples. That landlord is a real bloodsucker, increasing rent without improving the building. Don't let those bloodsuckers at the corporation take advantage of your hard work. The term can also appear in cultural contexts, such as movies, books, and songs, to describe a villain or an unscrupulous character. The imagery it conjures is potent and universally understood, which is why it's a favorite in creative works. And there you have it. Bloodsucker is more than just a word. It's a linguistic tool that packs a punch. Use it to color your language with the right shade of intensity. I hope you found this exploration insightful, and I look forward to our next language adventure. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.